Hey everyone, today we're going to cover the six cells found in connective tissue. Okay, these are the six right here that are typically found in specifically a type of connective tissue called fibrous connective tissue. We have talked about tissues in another uh, video, so you might want to watch that if you want to learn more about you know the different types of tissues and classifications. But this is going to fall under what we classify again as fibrous connective tissue. And the big thing with fibrous, just a real quick recap on it, is that fibrous connective tissue literally has fibers in it. Visible uh, fibers, which is very different when you look at, uh, let's say, epithelial tissue, which has no fibers in it, okay? And of course, fibrous connective tissue is typically very strong, uh, and, and, and the, the fibers are predominantly made of collagen, which makes them very, very strong. But these are not gonna be the fibers Fiber, fibrous connective tissue, these are going to be the cells, okay? So first cell type is the fibroblast, okay? And basically, what do fibroblasts do? We're gonna give the definition here. They basically make uh, fibers of the fibrous tissue, okay? Uh, and ground substance. So we'll just write all this here. So they make the fibers in the ground substance. What do the macrophages do? The macrophages, uh, of course, are found in, in epithelial uh, tissue, but definitely found in, the, in, in areas like the dermis of the skin. Uh, and the dermis is a type of fibrous connective tissue. Uh, they are going to, of course, phagocytize anything that shouldn't be there. You know, great example. Uh, of what they do is with tattoo. Tattoo ink is embedded, it goes through the outer layer of skin, which is the epidermis, and it's embedded in the dermis where it typically stays put. Now, the reason they fade over time, that ink, and the ink has all kinds of, you know, dyes and heavy metals and things like that that, you know, help it stay put. Uh, but one of the main reasons is these macrophages eat that foreign substance, which is, of course, the ink. So they are phagocytizing those, those molecules of the ink, okay? Now, leukocytes are, of course, uh, white blood cells, okay? They are going to be part of your immune system. Maybe we'll just put, you know, your immune response, okay? White blood cells are always part of your immune system. They do the fighting. Uh, mast cells are going to make something called histamine and heparin, okay? Adipocytes are fat cells, so their job is to store fat. And plasma cells are going to make something called antibodies, okay? So those are the six cells of fibrous connective tissue. Again, we're going to do some short videos, uh, so watch out for more. Until next time, good luck to your site.